Oh, that was pretty sketchy. Hey guys, Jason Lee here. So as you can see, I'm doing something a little different in this video again. Uh, last week I got such a good response from my pre-thoughts to a hard training day. So I figure why not this week just share with you some of my afterthoughts of my training day. So as you guys saw today was my squat session. I had to hit 280 for four sets of three plus an and wrap, uh, which I got for 10. Now, even though on my ninth rep, it looked pretty sketchy, things got a little sideways, everything did go pretty smoothly. Uh, depending on how I edit it, you may or may not hear me tell Edgar to back off because like I got the weight. Uh, the main issue today was it just was slippery on my back. Like it was gross and hot and sweaty. And yeah, the bar did not want to stay. In hindsight, I probably should have chalked up because I, I knew I was having an issue prior to those lifts, but it is what it is. Maybe if things continuing in this kind of humidity, uh, I will probably start wearing my A7 shirt that has a grip on the back, probably make things a little easier. But honestly, that was probably the hardest part today was the fact that it is finally basically becoming summer. Uh, not too hot, 19 degrees Celsius, which is whatever in Fahrenheit. But the humidity was like 83, 84, and it was gross. And as I mentioned in the past, I am just kind of borrowing my buddy's space in his garage. And it's a shared garage, so there was someone out front with the garage door open working on their car, which was allowing all that sticky hot air to come in. I was soaked in sweat. Edgar was soaked in sweat. There was just like dew on everything. The plates, the bar, the concrete was even sweating. Like that's how humid it is up here right now. So that was probably the hardest part, but I still got 10 reps. I'm still getting the goal I want for this training cycle is to just keep bettering my last cycle by at least two reps, maybe three, depending on the day. As you saw for my first uh, week, I believe, I think I showed you that. I got like 11 reps, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly share that with you, let you know it's not sketchy. I'm not going like I used to until the point where I hurt myself. That was literally a slip. Uh, I feel healthy. I feel good. And to be completely honest, this is probably the strongest I felt in years. Who would have guessed that doing less work on paper uh, would make such a big difference? But guys, that's it for the squat video today. I hope you stick around. I still got a bench day and a deadlift day I want to show you. Not going to show you my secondary bench day just because, well, it's kind of some fluff weight, like 135 for a lot of reps, a lot of tricep work. Uh, but if you guys are really up for it, drop a comment down below. Maybe I'll add it for the next training video. But yeah, guys, until then. That was a good session. So today went a lot better than I thought. Uh, last few days have been hard just because I've been working a little bit more. I was doing some roofing, kind of made me switch up uh, my training routine just because being bent over for like seven, eight hours a day, not really the most optimal thing for deadlifts, uh, but today went pretty darn good, if I might say. Uh, so I did s switch some things up as you might have seen, I uh, decided to get myself some plywood. So now, instead of standing on that really soft foam, trying to deadlift, keep my balance, I have something I'm able to put a little bit more, <sighs> put a little bit more power into. Uh, so as you saw today, I hit 340 for deadlifts pretty smoothly. I got eight reps and I did it beltless. Now that's something I try not to dabble in too often just because 
let's be real, we know my reputation when it comes to a back injuries. But unfortunately today, uh, I completely forgot to put my gym bag in the car. And I drove all the way out to my buddies. Didn't really want to turn back uh, because it would have been a pain in the butt and I would have ended up training a lot later than I want to. Uh, so I just said, what the hell, and gave it a shot. And I was pretty impressed. Uh, just because it, even though 340 isn't like my max or really even close to my max, uh, a long, long, long time ago when I was first getting involved in lifting, not even powerlifting, just lifting, uh, I decided to try to deadlift 340 for reps. Now, for some reason, when I first started, I didn't like the idea of doing math when it came to lifting, so I just guessed my percentages. And I'm like, oh, let's try 340 for eight. And I got the three reps and nearly killed myself. And that's how I threw my back out for the second time. Now I can do 340 for eight with no belt. And I am completely fine despite being completely gassed. I'm completely fine. So doing pretty good. Uh, but yeah, the next day, I believe, if I planned it right, should be bench press. And then we'll go from there. Until then, guys. Man, am I tired. That's apparently been the trend of the week. Like every single day it just keeps getting harder and harder. I don't know if it's like the lack of recovery, if I'm burning the candle at both ends too much, or if I'm just accumulating that much fatigue, which would make sense. This is the third uh, mesocycle of the fifth set training uh, right before my peak. So this is pretty much where I need to accumulate the most fatigue before I start peaking. Uh, but yeah, definitely feeling it. Uh, today still went pretty okay though, uh, 215 for six, which is a one rep uh, PR. Well, yeah, actually I think it is a one rep PR in general, but uh, compared to my last training cycle, uh, I feel if I had Edgar here today, I probably could have got a little bit more with a handoff, but uh, not every day can be a good day for a training partner. So this week's just pretty much been a write-off. So it's just been me, uh, but you know, it is just, you know, doing reps, right? So it's not that big of a deal to try to train on your own. Uh, but yeah, hopefully next week uh, it will go a lot better. Maybe I'll just start focusing a little bit more on recovery, uh, taking a little less for granted. But guys, that's pretty much my week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of new setup. If you'd like me to continue doing this setup, uh, just drop a comment down below. Or if you prefer what I was doing before, mention that as well. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the video. So do me a favor, go down below, drop me some comments because I'd love to hear you have to say. Also hit that like, share, and subscribe to spread that love. And I will see you next time.